Hi guys, I am in the middle of putting on my face. Um, I didn't, I wasn't planning on filming this because I'm using the same old products that I usually do, but I figure maybe there's someone out there like me who likes complexion content. So that's what I'm doing. I filmed this eye look in a short. So that will probably be up before this video. But Ooh, I have a couple of new things um, coming in the mail. So um, I got a few new palettes. Well, they're new to me from Ur on Earthly Cosmetics. They're Lore and Fairy Frolic. They have very springy fall colors like they're not pastels but they're like greens and oranges and stuff but they're not like smoky greens oranges and stuff um i am still doing my whole you know trying different forms of makeup obviously this is not different this is a smoky eye but this is just for a short for my long form content i'm still doing my little you know different stuff than I normally do. So that's why I got those palettes. Oh, and complexion. You guys know I am very particular about my complexion stuff that I use, but um, I did order the um, House Labs Tricyclone something or rather. Lady Gaga's foundation. I did finally order it. I bit the bullet. Um, I ordered it in the shade 230 Cool, which usually I'm a neutral, but in her um, in her line, the neutral looked awfully pink. So I chose the Cool, which is another thing because usually Cool means pink, but in her line, cool means golden, so yeah, it was, I might have gotten a whole different, you know, whole wrong ass shade, but I think my skin is neutral enough to where I can make anything work, honestly. So what else is happening? Um, lady goes to school in a week and a half. Uh, we actually have her open house tomorrow so we meet all her teachers and she's going to be coming with us and we're going to walk her around the school so she can explore the school she's going to she has had speech therapy there before so it's not entirely new to her however she hasn't been there um other than just to see one person so um tomorrow we're going to show her like where her locker is like she's five and she has a locker don't ask me questions i don't have answers i think that's ridiculous but um yeah like when i was in kindergarten we were in one room but apparently they're gonna be switching rooms i guess i don't know i'm gonna find out tomorrow um i've gotten I think I've come to terms with her going to school now that it's so close. I'm still, you know, very anxious about it, but meds help. <laughs> meds definitely help. I think I'm done blending. I need to put a little light under here, so going in with this Too Faced Concealer. And this is in the shade medium. I don't want to make it too bright, but just brighter since I have on a dark smoky eye. I know I'm not supposed to be doing smoky eyes. Don't judge me. All right, Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury, um, airbrush flawless in number two medium. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite made makeup products are now. 
because you guys know I'm living in the stone age when it comes to complexion products. I, I move slow, okay? So um, if there's anyone out there that's got the latest thing, tell me, tell me what it is. Like I haven't tried those rare beauty blushes yet. I'm not huge into cream blushes because I come from the time where I just put lipstick on my cheeks you know, cream lipstick, because what's the, I mean, really, what's the difference? <laughs> so, um, as far as paying 30 something dollars for a cream blush, I might just go get like a little cheap ass Maybelline coral <laughs> lipstick, like, a regular cream lipstick. I don't know. Tell me. What's so great about these rare beauty blushes? Tell me. Tell me down below. Educate me. Let me know. So you shouldn't be surprised, but just in case you are, going in with the Glam Goth Beauty Dark Renaissance Palette. I just did a short, um, or was it a video? Maybe it was both, but giving love to this palette. This is marketed as a face and um, eyeshadow palette. I mainly use it for eyeshadow, but I have done a full eyeshadow and face look using this. I'll leave it down below in the description box if you want to check it out. And it will be on the end card. So my favorite shade out of this palette is this one right here. This is Morbid Lisa. This is my favorite contour shade, both at my natural skin tone and when I'm tanned. It is the perfect cool toned and I love it. And it's very pigmented as you can see. I'm gonna blend that out. Let, don't be scared. I'm gonna blend that out. <laughs> I applied it a little too heavily but it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna blend it out. So meow, meow, I'm going to do some bronzer. So I'm going to go in with this one right here. And I'll just put a little bit on my nose and a little bit here and a little bit there. Just a little, just a little, 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 little. Okay. Now it's time for blush. I'm going to be going in with this Pat McGrath Bridgerton quad um, of blushes. And I think I'm going to use this one right here. And very lightly go on the apples of my cheeks and then go up. And then I'm gonna go in with this deeper shade right here and apply it to my temple area. So it gives like a little bit of a sunburn look and the backs of my cheeks. And now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is more of like a golden kind of blush. And apply it right there on the nose, right there, right there. And then on the cheeks again. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a highlighter and I'm going to use this one from the palette and lightly What I also like to do is go in with this Hourglass Ambient Powder and use the lightest shade right here. And just take this underneath my eye area just to add a little bit more light just in case I lost some of it. All right, I'm going to go off camera, finish up the eyes, and I'll be back to do a lip. Back. I 
finished up the eyes. Looking real cute. Now I'm going to go in with the lip. I'm doing a black lip. And to line, I'm using the Kiss Professional Lip Liner in black. And I always suggest to people to line their lips when they're wearing any lipstick, honestly, because in my opinion, it like grips onto your lipstick and prevents it from coming off. And if your lipstick does come off, you'll have something up under it that's relatively the same color. So it won't look like lip color and then your natural lip color. You know what I mean? So especially with darker lips looks real dark already right um so for lip color i am going in with an unearthly cosmetics satin liquid lipstick in the shade savage this is their black it has a ballet foot applicator so you don't need to dip in a lot. All right, so now we're gonna go in with some eyeshadow. Yes, eyeshadow on the lips. I'm using the same shade that I put on my lid on the outer corners of my lips. Oh, yes. Yes, bitch. This is a great way to get customized lip colors too. One more thing, <laughs> I'm being extra. Going in with the shade Gunmetal from the Smoky Glam palette. This is what I have on my inner corner. And I'm just gonna Put that by my cupid's bow and then like fan it out like that. Also, do it on the bottom lip. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I just threw a wig on, it's not even glued down or nothing. Um, <laughs> see? <laughs> anyway, uh, if you guys like, if you, oh my God, stop it. Okay, if you guys like this look, then go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. Share this video because you know sharing is caring. And if you want to see some more complexion videos, let me know down below in the comment section. You guys know I love complexion. And when I get um, that foundation in the mail, I'm definitely going to be um, trying it out and letting you guys know if I like it. I know it's supposed to be dry skin friendly, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, since you're here, you might as well watch some more videos. So there they are popping up. Right there and right there. Right there and right there. Right there and right there. Support your girl, okay? And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!